Hi everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful Mother's Day. Today my granddaughter and I are going to be making a strawberry poke cake for Mother's Day dinner. Okay, what you're going to need is for your cake, you can use any brand of cake. Um, today we're using a Betty Crocker cake. Um, you're going to want a white cake. This is vanilla, um, also white. Um, so for this cake, you're going to need one cup of water, a half a cup of oil, and three eggs. Okay, we're going to put this cake together now. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put our cake mix into the bowl. And then we're going to, um, okay, we've cracked our three eggs into a bowl. I like to do it that way, just in case we should get any eggshells, I don't want them in the cake. So I always crack my eggs into a bowl first and then put them into the cake mix. So now we're going to go ahead and, whoop, and if you see right down in there, there's an eggshell. So we're going to grab that eggshell out. Oh. So close. Let me try. Nope. There we go. Okay. And that right there is why I crack them into a bowl. I don't want that little piece of eggshell in my <laughs> cake. Okay, so moving on. There's no more. Now we're going to put our eggs into the bowl, into the mixing bowl. Okay, and then we're going to pour in the one half cup of oil. Just pour it on in there. Okay, that's good. And then a cup of water. Okay, and now we're going to get our bowl up and into our mixer. Now, I have had this KitchenAid mixer in excess of 40 years. So I want to say this mixer is about 40 to 50 years old. And it is still growing, going, <laughs> growing. It is still going strong. And it has made so many wonderful meals for my family. Be sure and put the lock on. Very good. And put it on the lowest speed. Okay, so we're just going to put it on the lowest speed until everything is mixed. And then we're going to want to take our spatula and make sure that we push down all of the powdery stuff on the sides so that can everything can get fully incorporated into the cake. Oh, yeah. oh well, you really, okay, hurry. Once you start, you really don't take this off of the stand. Oh, whoops. And then you can just, there. I think I keep taking snapshots. There you go. I've got batter all over my hands. Sorry. That's okay. All right. Drop that back in there. When you start, you always want to make sure that your your cooking area and your hands are all squeaky clean. Okay, now all of that is incorporated, so we are going to bump it up to six. And 
Is that six? Yeah. Okay. And we're going to leave it right there on six for two minutes so that we can get some air down into our batter so that we have a nice, light, fluffy cake. Okay. Now, while that's going ahead and mixing, we're going to go ahead and open up our jello box. Okay, and the bowl's right there. Pour the jello into the bowl. that jello we are going to pour one cup that's okay I know but the oil is already in the cake so one cup of hot boiling water be very careful because that is really really hot we're using my um, I have an electric teapot because I'm a tea drinker and for me, that's the safest way to get my water hot. Okay, so we're going to pour one cup of boiling water into our jello. And we're going to just want to whisk that until there's no more granules left. And just keep mixing until you make sure it's all fully dissolved. Okay, now we're going to set that to the side. And that is looking like our cake is done. So we're going to turn off the beaters. We're going to preheat our oven, which actually we should have done. Um, what is the oven temperature? 350. For shiny metal or glass pans. Okay, so... We have a clear glass pan, so we want it set at 350. And we're going to want to take our spatula and get as much as we can off of, yeah, the beater. And you can see all the air bubbles. So we've got a nice airy, cake. nice airy cake coming on. Push up and turn. Ah. Give it a little whack on the side. Just give it a little tap on the side. Ah, that's good. Throw that over into the sink, and then we're going to move this forward. You can go ahead and set that spatula down. Okay, and now, once again, this is something we should have already done, <laughs> but we haven't, but it's all good. It's okay. We have this Baker's Joy which is oil and flour all in one. You give it a good shake and you coat your pan with it. Now get a little bit further away, you're too close. Okay. Oh wait, I need a rubber pan. Okay, so we have sprayed our baking dish with Baker's Joy, which is an oil and flour combination. 
and now we are ready to put our cake mix into our pan. That is looking good. Now you just want to spread that out, kind of not too. Don't get too wild there. Don't go too fast. <laughs> you see how it gets it up on the top. If you oh. go too fast, that's okay. You can't change it now, but that's okay. Just kind of gently push it into the corners so you kind of have a nice flat mix. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so now you can just take that bowl and drop it down into the sink. Okay, and now we're going to take this cake and you're going to gently drop it a few times to bring the air bubbles to the top. I promise you this will not break. Okay, lift it up a little higher. You want to bring those air bubbles up. Yep. Okay, right between those two. And that's good. And as you can see, it has brought some of the air bubbles to the top that will pop, and then the rest of them will make for a very nice, airy, and light cake. Okay, um, as soon as my oven gets to temperature, we are going to pop this into the oven. Be right back. Okay, our oven is preheated to temperature, and now we are going to put this into the oven on the middle rack for at 13 by 9 inch will cook for 28 to 33 minutes so we will be back okay we're back and the cake is out of the oven so now um, we have found that the opposite end of the beater works really well to poke the cake. So now we're going to go ahead and poke this cake all over. And I've, I've poured the jello into, for easy pouring, into a measuring cup, just for ease of pouring. Okay, and we will be back when all of our holes are poked. Okay, we've got all of our holes poked into our cake, and now we're going to go ahead and pour the package of strawberry jello mixed with just one cup of boiling water. You don't add the um, cold water at all. All you use is one cup of boiling hot water mixed in with the gelatin. Okay, you're going to run out of stuff if you don't move to another part of the cake. Make, you're doing the drizzle really nicely. Okay, and you just, just keep pouring that all over the cake and it's going to go down into those holes Doing a good job. Wow. <laughs> As you see that for a whole bunch into the corner. Whoa. <laughs> okay, try to get like right in here. We've got some cake. And just a really slow drizzle, sweetie. There you go. Okay. Is that enough? <laughs> 
go ahead and pour on the rest. Oh, whoops. Even with the measuring cup, it's a little bit hard to get a nice, even drizzle. Yeah, I was struggling because my, my arm started to twitch. I was like, ah! That's okay. This is all going to be covered up with Cool Whip. And we don't need to use all of it, right? Fresh cut strawberries. You don't have to use all the jello if you don't want it's to okay. either. I do want to use it all. You want a nice and nice. -er. Yep. Nice I nice. love the flavor and the color that comes down through the cake. Okay, we will be back. Now that we've got it all nicely poured with the jello. Jelloed up is what I'm going to call it. Yep, this is some jelloed up cake. <laughs> now we're going to take this cake and we're going to pop it into the refrigerator for at least one hour so that the jello can set and it won't make the, the cake. Uh, uh, wet. Okay, awesome. we'll be back in an hour. Okay, we're back and the cake has been in the refrigerator for over an hour and it's looking very, very lovely. Um, now we're going to slice our strawberries in half. Just going to slice a couple to show you how you slice them in half um, with the widest part facing you. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and start uh, frosting our cake with the Cool Whip. Here, this will. This will work better for you. Uh. Okay, so first we're going to want to get a spoon and stir it up. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. So don't beat it up. Just fold it. Kind of lightly stir it. Very nice. Okay. Now you can just start putting dollops of it with the spoon onto the cake. And just go ahead and put a few dollops across the top of it. That's so very good. You want big dollops, right? Yes. Okay. Get off my spoon. We want all that yumminess out of the container and on to our cake. Okay, now you might want to grab a spatula to make sure you get the rest of that out. This just Oh gosh, and look! Grandma gets to lick the spoon. Aw, oh, dang it! Ha! <laughs> That's what happens when the grandkids bake. When you and grandma I, films. No, what happens is when you cook, I get the spoon, and when you film, you get the spoon. Yep. And that's how that works. Okay. That looks good. So, don't look okay. the bowl. I will eat you. Okay. So now, I will hold that for you. Now this one? Uh, we'll just start with this first. And go ahead and lightly spread that around. What? I was filming the dishwasher. <laughs> you were looking at me and not the phone. Yep. We will tend to do that, by the way. We do. Okay, and then let's do this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. You can always move your dish to make it easier for you to work. Get 
tip of our special. And we just want to do it real gently because that cake has the jello in it, so you don't want to bring any of the cake to the surface. You just want to spread it gently over the top of the cake. Very nice. Really good job. Yeah, I know. I got that tongue. <laughs> Everything, you know. Okay, let's get this part right here. Perfect. A little bit right there. Now you don't turn it over. You want to make sure all those edges are are covered. And if you want to get that off, just go like this, or use your finger. I wash my hands before this, so don't yep. get worried, guys. Now I make sure that her hands are squeaky clean, and our cooking surfaces, any area that we might touch, is squeaky clean. Yummy. There you go. I'm to get it in the corner. <gasps> Magic! Yeah, it looks good. Whoops, I'm filming your feet. It looks good. Here, I'll hold it while you do that. Okay. I really don't want to film my uh, kitchen sink with my dirty dishes. Wait, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Just a little high right there. Spread that out a little bit more. So what are we going to use that second thing of Cool Whip for? Pardon me? What are we going to use that second thing of Cool Whip for? I don't know. I'll probably make something else. No, you're going to let me eat it, right? <laughs> Ooh. We'll have to figure out another lovely little cake to make. Dang Maybe it. we'll have to make like a peach poke cake next. No, in the comments, guys, you need to tell her to give me the Cool Whip. <laughs> She's like, get rid of the cool way, get rid of the cool way. Okay. I think that is looking good. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, there you go. <gasps> really? Mum, mum, mum. Okay. Our cake is frosted. And now we're going to come in like this. I just dry my hand. We're going to have to cut them, and then we'll have to come back and add the strawberries. Right, but I'm going to go ahead and show them, because we've got a couple of strawberries already cut, um, the process that we'll be doing. And so we're just going to come in here with some strawberries like this, just to add some freshness to our cake. And my grandma's made this before, and oh my goody good, it's so good. <laughs> yes, actually, this this is our... Uh, second time. Second time. We made this and filmed this together once before. And her phone died, so half the videos were on my phone, half the videos were on her phone, and we couldn't get it uploaded, and it was a big pain in the butt, so we just decided to redo it. Yeah, so... This is our, oh, I can't think of the word, but anyways, this is our second attempt, which is going very smoothly, and we don't know exactly what happened. My phone, um, the camera did die, but somehow it uploaded the pictures to the cloud and wouldn't let us have access. Okay, we're going to go ahead and cut up the rest of these strawberries and line the rest of this cake, and then we'll be back to let you see what it looks like. Okay, we're back. We got it frosted, and we got all the strawberries on it. I'd really love to take a taste right now and show you how beautiful it looks down inside the cake and how beautiful it looks on the top. I don't know if I come down here. Eh, you can't really see it. But I don't want to cut into it because um, we are taking this for um, Mother's Day dessert.
at my daughter's house. So I will film myself cutting it and tasting it at our gathering. Okay, thank you so very much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked mine and my granddaughter's video. Subscribe to my channel and hit that little blue notification bell so every time I make a video and load it up, you can get notified and come and see it. Okay, this is our Mother's Day strawberry poke cake. Brightest blessings, everyone, and have a happy and wonderful Mother's Day. Bye now. Hi, everybody. This is me and my family. We are here at Sweet Cheeks Winery celebrating Mother's Day. This is the picnic that we put together. Some fruit and some cheeses and crackers to go with our wine. And so we are celebrating Mother's Day at Sweet Cheeks Winery. I hope all of you are having a wonderful and blessed Mother's Day. Okay. Love you guys so much. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Wait, I need the wine. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Okay. This is the amazing views. that you get at the winery and it's about I'd say 75 76 degrees with a light breeze blowing I couldn't think of a more perfect place to start Mother's Day it's absolutely beautiful out here one of my favorite places to come. And then I'm going to turn around this way. And you know, there's like no picture that just like zoom in to that across the street. And that is my other favorite winery. So this is a wonderful day or a wonderful place to come on just about any day. And when they're not having an event like Mother's Day, it's very, very peaceful, quiet, and serene here. The vineyards and the winery. And the mountains and the valleys and the roses. I hope you all are having a wonderful Mother's Day. I most certainly am. Happy Mother's Day. Yo, we need to take some part of the video for the... And these are my grandkids. <laughs> we were at my daughter's oh, house yeah. here for our Mother's Day dinner. Hi to all the crew. With my granddaughter. She got her foot broken, so she doesn't have to do nothing today. Okay. That's my granddaughter's boyfriend. No, well, that's Robert. Hey, Robert. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Mike. Happy Mother's Day, Heather. Happy Mother's Day, Heather. We got some spaghetti going on in here. We got some linguine and clams over here. We got a bunch of fresh fruit and yogurt and whipping cream going on over here and 
Whoops. Stepping backwards, and we got a pregnant kitty over here. Two pregnant kitties. Hi, Red. Oh, there's the other pregnant kitty over there. Huh? And this is my daughter's gorgeous pond. She just moved in a couple months ago, and she's already got it up and looking absolutely gorgeous as usual. And this is my gorgeous daughter. Not smoking a cigarette because I don't have a lighter. No. Okay. <laughs> and there is the boys being boys. And a girl. Okay. Oh my god. Happy Mother's Day. My daughter just has the greatest way of decorating everything. She has this incredible eye for home decorating. And the last time I was over here, which was just like a week or two ago, um, this pond was still in the garage. And tonight, for Mother's Day, it is up and running for our celebration. Woo! Happy Mother's Day! I'm going to take out this first piece of cake. down under it. It's always hard to get the first piece out. Okay. Wait, wait. Okay. I knew I was coming down there for a reason. <laughs> but it wasn't about cake. Oh.